What's going on guys and welcome to another edition of Mean Method Mondays. In this episode, we'll be looking at the box jump and how to correctly perform it. I feel very passionately about the box jump and the way it's prescribed in most boot camp and personal training intervention. Right off the bat, I just want to say that this is not a conditioning drill. It's apparent that several trainers will use this exercise in high rep, low rest conditions. However, this is not an exercise that we use to accrue fatigue. At my meaner exercise nutrition, the box jump is used to develop power. So that's force times velocity. And under fatigue, it's very difficult to express those qualities adequately. Sufficient rest needs to be given between each set and we don't perform very many reps. Another key component of this drill is learning how to land and absorb force adequately. If you're going to produce force quickly as you are with a box jump, you need to learn how to absorb it and mitigate injury risk. So we actually begin the box jump by rapidly flexing and then extending the humerus. You want to end up in this little quarter squat position with your arms back. Then you need to rapidly swing your arms up and leap onto the box. Another important consideration to make with box jumps is you don't want your hip flexion ability to confound your results. Several people will claim massive vertical jumps measured by a box jump. However, if someone has more hip flexion mobility, they will have an easier time clearing the box. They can just lift their legs all the way up to the ears. So only jump onto boxes that require a slight amount of knee and hip flexion, as this will be a more accurate measure of vertical jump height than super high boxes that require you to lift your legs all the way up and bend your knees as much as you can. During the landing phase, we instruct our members to land quietly on the box. There are actually certain instances in training where you would smash the box really hard. However, for those in the general population just looking to enhance their fitness and jump height, it's best you land quietly and make this exercise as easy on the body as possible. So just try to land in that quarter squat position as shown, as if you are riding on a motorbike. Once you've landed on the box, make sure you step off the box. Don't jump off the box back onto the ground. Again, this is just to make this exercise easy on the body. High rep box jumps, where trainees are jumping on and off boxes and doing up to 30 reps or 30 seconds worth of box jumps is a recipe for disaster. How can you be expected to land appropriately after accumulating so much fatigue? It's a strain or a rolled ankle just waiting to happen. I would also like to point out before I finish this video that this exercise is not a plyometric. Though it can be used as one, or plyometrics can be implemented into this exercise. Plyometric exercises are defined by the amount of time you spend on the ground. For a true plyometric exercise to be classified as a plyometric exercise, there needs to be 0.2 seconds of ground contact time. This would be a case where you've jumped off the box and you immediately jump again. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this very different episode of Mean Method Mondays. If you liked this kind of exercise covered in this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below about what the other exercises you'd like to see next. Thanks guys for watching. Speak to you in the next one. TTFN, ta-ta for now.